How do you solve uh, radical equations? This video is uh, about how to solve radical equations, level one. So I promise here that I'm going to do one or two more videos with level two or level three radical equations. But let's just start with how do we solve radical equations level one. In this example, we have uh, a radical equation level one. It's very simple because we have the radical, uh, we have the x the expression inside the radical, and we have to solve for x. So basically we do exactly the same procedure that we have done for solving equations. When we solve equation, we isolate the variable. That's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna take care of the negative seven, first, that is outside the radicals, and I'm going to add 7 to both sides of the equation. So 7 minus 7 cancel each other out, so I, I have now 8x plus 9 equals 2 plus 7, 9. So this is the first step, and now we have the square root of 8x plus 9 equals 9. So the square root is no more than the inverse operation of a square in a number. Let's put it simple. If you square 5, you get 25. If you want to go back, you find the square root of 25 and you get 5. Of course, the square root has two values as the answer. One positive, one negative, because the square root of 25 is positive 5, because 5 times 5 is 25, or negative 5 times negative 5, which is equal also to 25. So right here, we are working with inverses operations. So squaring a number or raising the number to the second power is no more than multiplying the number by itself. If you want to go back, we use the inverse operation, which is the square root. Today, we're going to use the principal root. What is the principal root? The positive answer when you find the square root. Let's say the square root of 36 is 6 and minus 6, but we're going to use only 6 which is the principal root. So right now, because we need to use the inverse operation, because the inverse operation is the critical procedure to solve equations, in the same way that I add seven to cancel minus seven, I need to find the, the square of both sides that's gonna undo the square root, and I would do it on the other side too. So I raise to the second power both sides of the equation, and I can cancel these two with the radical, leaving me with ax plus 9, and 9 to the second power is 81. So now I have in front of me a very simple two-step equation that I can subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. 9 minus 9 is 0, and I have ax equal 81 minus 9 is just 72. Okay. Uh, we divide by 8, since 8 is the coefficient of the x, is multiplying the x. And cancel this out. So 78, 72 divided by 8 is equal 9, since 9 times 8 is 72. If you want to prove that this is totally right, you come over here and you write the, the original equation, and you must have a true statement. If I replace the x by 9, I have 8 times 9 is 72, and 72 plus 9. 72 plus 9 is 81, minus 7, and the square root of 81 is just 9. It's a perfect square, and 9 minus 7 is equal to. I have 2 on both sides of the equation. This is a true statement. This is the solution. This is a level one radical equations, and I hope that you understood the way I did it. It's very simple, very straightforward, knowing only that we are using inverse operations. And the inverse operation of raising a number to the second power is just finding the square root of the number.